let's go straight into the Cubase project here. So at first, let me show you what I use here. I use a wire strings from Audio Imperia and just the full ensemble patch with the sustained articulation. And let's record something without a click, just for the sake of the sound. So that's it. Nothing special, just very simple. So this is the little section here. And of course I didn't use the module for the dynamics that much, but it's okay for now. So let's hear it again. And of course it sounds great, but we can do a little bit more here. So let me show you the processing very quick. I just have a high pass filter here at around or exactly at 80 Hz. A 7th Heaven reverb, the Zenders Hall with the mix knob at around let's say 45%. And that's it on my stereo out. There is flatline just for a little bit of loudness. And we are stream so I can route my audio into OBS and that's it. Now let me introduce you this little plugin here. It's called Niveau Filter from Elysia. And I set this frequency completely to the right to 2.2k. And I play around with this EQ gain knob here and listen how this affects the sound. So of course let's activate it first. Sounds good, right? So what's going on here? This little plugin acts like a tilt EQ. And in case if you don't know what a tilt EQ is, or let's say a shelf or a tilt shelf EQ, it looks like this. So you can set a center frequency. And like in this example, you can raise the lower frequencies and at the same time you can reduce the higher frequencies. Or the other way around. And you can adjust the Q filter here. But especially for strings, I use very wide and broad Q filters. And now may you ask, why do I like this plugin so much? Because it's super easy to use. I just load it up. I put this frequency completely to the right. And I go most of the time, let's say for around 4, 4.5 dB. And then my strings sound like this.
So, and that's it. That sounds much better to me. So it reduces a little bit of the harshness of the strings. But be careful with that. Maybe sometimes you really want these higher frequencies for a really aggressive string sound. But for this example, I really want a very wide and broad sound. So I go for this plugin and reduce the higher frequencies a little bit. And maybe you notice that this plugin also adds a lot of volume. This is really important to know because with EQ plugins in general, you have to know if there is a volume difference or not. Otherwise, it's like a trap and you f always think louder is better. But this is exactly why I have a second track here. And as you can see here, we have the same settings. We have the high pass filter here. We have the Elysia plugin with my settings 4.5 dB and 2.2K and the same 7th Heaven reverb. But I reduced the volume of this track at around 3 dB. And let's switch this Elysia plugin off from this track. And let's copy this very quick. And now we can jump around between these two tracks and listen to the sound without the volume difference. And we really can hear how this plugin affects the sound. So let's try this. So I'm sorry for these little clicky noises here, but I think you get the idea how this plugin affects the sound. So I like this sound better with this plugin activated. But really be careful with this. Always do this choice here in the mix and with the complete orchestra. And don't overdo this. And sometimes, let's say 1 or 2 dB is enough. Sometimes I go for around 4 dB. So, and another thing I want to show you is the tap filter EQ here. And let's try to achieve a similar sound with this plugin here. So we have the tilt shelf EQ here. And also I set this to 2.2K and a very wide Q filter, 0 0.5. And let's listen how this affects the sound. And as I said before, the big advantage here is we have a lot more options. We can adjust the volume compensation here, the output level. And maybe we can add another high pass filter here. Let's say at around 80 Hertz. And we can adjust a little bell curve here. Around 120 to reduce a little bit of the muddiness. And maybe another bell curve for reducing more higher frequencies here. So let's say 3 dB and listen how this sounds.
I think that sounds great. At least it sounds great to me. And yeah, as I said before, we have a lot more options here. But to be honest, sometimes I load this Elysia plugin here. I set the frequency completely to the right. Go for my 4 to 4.5 dB and that's it. It almost always sounds great. And another thing I want to mention is mainly I use this on group tracks. And this example here is very easy, just the ensemble patch. And when I compose stuff like this, most of the time later I orchestrate all these sections out into single tracks. The violins, violas, cello, basses, the same for the brass. And I don't use this very often on single tracks, but more on the group tracks. And, but it depends, of course. So, and that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. So please subscribe to my channel to support me. Hit the bell button. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.